Welcome to today's class. To start with, find a comfortable seated position. This could be cross-legged or sat on your knees or maybe sitting on a prop. Place your hands on your knees, close down your eyes and just take a couple of breaths to settle into your practice today. And place your hands in your lap, palms facing up. Inhale, bring your hands to your heart. Exhale, push away while rounding your back. Inhale, palms face together, up above your head. Exhale, release down, palms facing down. Hands to your lap. Inhale to your heart. Exhale, push away. Inhale, up. Exhale, release down. One more time, hands in the lap, inhale to your heart, exhale, push away while rounding the back, inhale, lift your hands up, exhale, release back down. Let's come over onto all fours, so shoulders over wrists, hips above knees. Let's take a couple of cat-cows, so inhale, drop the belly down, exhale, push the mat away, round the back. Inhale, belly button drops towards the floor. Exhale, suck your belly button in towards your spine. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Just take a couple more at your own pace. And then let's come to a neutral spine. Now grounding down through the left hand, you're gonna pick up the left foot, kick out your leg long behind you, and then pick up the right hand. And reach through the fingertips, reach through the heel of the left foot. Turn your core muscles on and hold it here. Find some balance. Grip the mat with your fingers and then release your hand down, release your knee down. Let's come onto the other side. So right leg kicks back behind you, push through that heel. Left hand comes up in line with your ear. Turn the core muscles on. Make your body nice and long here. Find some balance. Grip the mat with your fingertips. Release your hand, release your knee. Let's bring the hands out slightly further than the shoulders. Tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Push your belly button towards your thighs and lift your hips up as high as you can. Keep a nice bend in the knees. And then straighten the right leg, bending the left. And then switch, straighten the left leg, bend the right. Straighten the right leg. And straighten the left, all while pushing your belly button towards your thighs. Then bending both knees, look towards the top of your mat. Take little steps all the way up and come into a forward fold at the top of your mat. So feet hips distance apart, release the upper body. Slowly start to straighten the legs and roll all the way up through the spine until you come up to a standing position at the top of your mat. Roll your shoulders back. Inhale, sweep the hands up above your head. Exhale, slight bend of the knees, folding forward. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the legs, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold. Sweep the hands up, come all the way back up to standing, hands above your head. Exhale, hands to heart. Now placing most of your weight in your right leg, we're going to pick the left foot up, turn your knee outwards. Now you can place your foot at your ankle, at your lower leg, or use your hand to bring your left foot up towards your thigh. Hands at heart centre, 
find some balance in your tree pose. We don't want the foot on the knee, so if you can't keep it up by your thigh, then make sure it goes down by your lower leg. And the hands can come up above your head if that feels comfortable. Find some balance, and if you fall out, just come back in. Hands back to heart center. Turn your left knee to face the front of your mat. Bring your left foot up off the ground. And then we're gonna slowly hinge forward, kicking that left foot behind you, coming into our warrior three. So your torso comes parallel to the floor, as does your left leg. And then maybe your hands reach behind as well. Find some balance here. Kick back through that left heel. Find something in front of you that's not moving to help your balance. And then hinge back up and bring your, both of your feet back to the ground. Hands to heart centre, maybe wiggle out the knees. Grounding down through your left foot, pick up your right toes, turn that knee outwards. And then either place your foot on your ankle, your lower leg, or use your hand to pick it up and place it on your, your left thigh. Hands to heart centre, find some balance here. And again, you can keep your hands at heart center or you can bring them up above your head. Find whatever works for you today. And if you fall out, just come back in. Hands to heart center. Let's bring that right knee back in front of us. We're going to kick it behind again, slowly hinging forward back to that warrior three position. Reach through the right heel and find some balance here. Maybe bring the hands down by the sides. Gripping the mat with your toes to help with your balance. And then slowly hinging back up, shake the knees out. And then let's inhale, sweep the hands up above the head. Exhale, fold forward, slight bend of the knees. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward, plant the hands on the ground and just take your knees back down to the mat. Toes come together, knees wide, sit your hips back towards your heels and come into your child's pose. Arms come out ahead of you and sink your chest down. Just take a couple of breaths here. Lifting your head up, just bring your hands back in and just find a comfortable seated position. Inhale, the hands up above the head, palms come together. Exhale, hands to heart centre. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today.